going on Geek Thumb? This is Chef Monks. We're doing some more reactions. Um, apologize about the uh, change. I had to switch locations uh, real quick. Um, yeah. <laughs> so a lot going on right now. So I had to switch uh, locations. So I was able to shoot where I normally shoot at. And I usually like shooting there just because of uh, the white background. I like having a white background and stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> So hopefully it's not too distracting for everybody, but um, yeah, uh, we're doing a reaction today. The this reaction right now is going to be for Hobson and his uh, song for Alone with Me. Uh, we get to check out this music video, see how this goes. Uh, Hobson has been doing some soul searching and stuff like that, so uh, he's been going through a, been going through a lot, and he's expressing himself through his music. Uh, so I want to just see how he goes about with this one, see where he falls in line with his mental state and everything with this one. So let's go ahead and check this one out along with me. Usually when I think of along with me, I think of me in my head. So along with me is me being in my head and that's not a place I want to go. Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so I don't think supposed to be the devil. Do you remember me? Cause I've been with you since a team. Fucking you are mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief. Struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with you clinically. I love the effects. The effects are all. Awesome. Awesome. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wife yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why, yes. I guess the male order bride is nice and might be best. So how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy. Maybe your ego and eco-friendly. Bro, you got a life that we don't envy. And I bet suicide must be so tempting. Do it. Wait, hold up. Damn. Folks wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who is this nigga? I'm my favorite. It could be good. And then it's like a mirror. That's what I thought it was gonna be. So how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth? Well, be honest, you live in the shadow with you and Lucas. Uh -oh. Jealous? I know that you are, my point is proof. What the fuck happened to you? You were spitting so cold, you was the ill mind of Hobson on the list with the ghosts. Then you fell off, you should have took a different approach. Uh -huh. I hate to say it, but you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. It's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that your hands in the air headline in Madison Square Garden. Nigga, put the mic down. Don't you fight this fight. Cause you the corny rapper, only weird white kids like. So every time the blog's post you, the comments go roast you. I would rather be dead than be caught living in your shoes. Wait, hold up. I'm tripping. I like What's it. Wrong with me? I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who is this nigga? I'm gonna pause right here for a second. Um, I like this. The effects, uh, the story that he's going with with the music video. I love everything about that. Uh, everything about this is awesome, I think. Uh, he's telling his story so well. He's telling his story so well. Um, and I kind of feel the same way with myself when it comes to being in my own head. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Um, and some people have uh, committed some tragedies due to them battling with their demons inside their heads. And that's something I have to try to deal with myself as far as like the demons and stuff that I have. It's, it, gets, it's, it gets very difficult to battle yourself when you're in your head. And that's why I don't like being in my head. That's why I like doing stuff like this. So I'm not really in my head when I'm doing this. I'm not really thinking about uh, a whole bunch of stuff this this going on with me or with everything else when I'm doing stuff like this. YouTube has been a great help for me, and I like uh, you know I I like doing this. So I completely understand Hobson and where he's coming from. This is so dope. Let's go ahead and continue. Like, 
I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's all it's the, he would have. They did a good job. Turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst with worried family members, which leads to a local town search. But when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. But you don't get to see him anyway because your ex is wilding and shit. So when it's little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. Why you reside in heaven and hell, whichever side that it is, your baby mom's will regret the shit she never tried to get fixed. If you're alive, chances are she'll never try to repent. I'm just trying to show you ways to exercise your revenge. All you want is love, right? Well, you gon' have to get some balls. Shoot your fucking brains out until they splat against the walls. I mean, it has to hit the blogs and all your fans to get involved. And you'll be missed because people don't know what they have until it's lost. Hug your dad and kiss your mom before this transition is done. Into the I'm gonna have to pause right there. Because that's something that another rapper said that I did understand so well. Uh, I forgot his name. But I did a reaction for him. People would dog you while you're alive. But as soon as you die, then they'll be like, oh my goodness, it was this, this, and that, and that. Blah, 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 bull crap. Appreciate people while they're alive. If you really feel the way you feel when they passed away, you should have felt that way when they're alive. It has been done so many times by so, to so many artists and stuff. It's crazy. Appreciate people while they're still here. Because I feel like we don't do that en en enough. We don't appreciate people enough while they're still here on this earth. Because uh, when they're gone, they're gone. And there's no coming back from that. So, appreciate people while they're here. Let's go ahead and <laughs> keep going. Like, the current one is trash, it isn't fun Yeah, everybody got problems and we all fighting this big war But your problems are different You got nothing to live for hey, I like how, like, he likes to act this stuff out I can tell he enjoys doing that And he does a good job of acting this stuff out Hold up, please stop Stop controlling me I don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, who is this nigga? I feel you what I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now. That is the important thing. It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you. And then you will see there's a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of something. Don't identify any thought as negative, because it's just a thought. I like this. And I like the message at the end, but I feel like it's so much more difficult than that. Uh, as far as like thought processes and stuff go. It's, I feel like it's way, way, way more difficult than than that. Uh, in yeah, some people had suffered with it. Chester uh, from Lincoln Park is one who had suffered from it. And seeing what happened there. Like that it is it's, it's really difficult not to think or not to get into your head when you're in your head. It is so hard to get out of it. It's crazy. Uh, it's not as easy and it's not as simple to do that. But I like this video. I like the message. I like the story, the effects, the acting he did, the way the song and stuff was produced, the music. Uh, Beat and stuff is what I was trying to say. Apologize. Uh, so he told the story and he told the story well. This music video I thought was awesome. Everything about this project was good. I give this huge thumbs up. Uh, like there's nothing. Like this is this is his if like far as if he does the album. This is his EP or whatever for you know what he's been going through so he's just telling his story and stuff so he, he's not i don't think he's going to come out with some the craziest stuff as far as like crazy raps and stuff like that that he that we used to hearing him do uh years ago since he's just mostly just telling his story and i think he did a good job with this one i thought this was done so well uh yeah i, I can't praise this any more than i have this was awesome um, 
But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like, subscribe, and see some more of my content, please do. I thank you all so much for just jumping on and giving me a try. Uh, if you're going through anything similar, I suggest you try to get some help. Um, I, I try to, in my job, talk to people and stuff and get them to a good point. And it is very difficult to try to get someone to a good point. Because it's when you're already over or close to the edge, it's hard to get down. And even if someone talked you talked you down for the moment, something easily can snap you right back into going over that that edge. Just one small thing can easily get you over there. But um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, please do. Try to try to get some help, as much help as you can if you going through the same same thing. But thank you all so much for just jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geek them.